Okay, we're winterizing a HW277. I'm already done, and the directions they give you are a little odd, not super clear. Start off, disconnect your water, obviously. You got the thing level. Inch and a quarter inch socket, release your water from your water tank here. Release the pressure here if you got any. Pull that up, put it back, let it all drain out. Underneath it, keep in mind that I am complete. You take a half inch little plastic rubber hose, and if you look at that valve presently, that is in the normal camping position where water will go through the camper. So I am done. So you want that, when you're winterizing it, to suck air out of the bottle to be the opposite direction. So shift that little knob and the water will suck up. So you put your hose in, your hot water heater is drained. And then we'll go inside. Believe it or not, we're almost done. But the way they tell you to do the valves is just a little, little strange. So here's the outside sink. Don't forget that. So here's the instructions they give you. Here is the valve underneath. Here is the hot water heater. Notice that in order to winterize, the valves are in parallel, are not in parallel with the hot water heater. They're in parallel with the hoses. So this is the winterizing position. So when you get done winterizing, you're ready to camp, go and move both of those valves the other direction toward the water heater. That's just a little confusing. There also is no bypass. The bypass is the valve I showed you underneath. And just to be clear, in this video, the way it is, is ready for camping. So I've already winterized it, and I turned it back so I don't forget. You turn on your water pump. Don't forget to take your filter out. There's a little wrench. You take your filter out, screw that back in. Pretty self-explanatory. Put a little towel, maybe some water, no big deal. Start from the farthest point. Do your hot and cold shower water. Don't forget to flush your toilet. Do your hot and cold water in your sink. Also make sure you leave some in the P-traps, so let it drain a little bit. And then you do your outside sink. Hot and cold water both, guys. Don't just do the hot and the cold. And then in this camper, you have your outdoor shower, hot and cold. So again, that, just keep in mind that that valve is in the camping position, so when spring comes and I'm ready to go camping, I don't have to climb underneath there, that's ready to go. I'll go and change those two valves inside to the opposite direction that they're in, pointing at the water heater, and we'll be ready to go. I hope that helps you guys. Bye.